This is Classical Conversations, Cycle 1, Week 3 Science. Uh, you will need your Van Cleave Experiments book. This experiment is number 57, Blending, number 57. The goal of this is to, to, for the students to learn that the red and the pink and the yellow will show up pretty well, but the green and the black are really hard to find. The pipe cleaners, there are 20 of them. I have red, green, blue, yellow, black, and the pink. And I'm going to drop them now in the area I've already marked off. At school, it will be easier to tell the area I've marked off because I'll have staked it and have string, but for my yard, I'm just doing it like this. So here I go. dropped the 20 half inch pipe cleaners into the 20 by 20 area and I'm gonna have my son see how many of them he can find. Come on son. Um, looking around in the area and how many did you find buddy? Uh, 12 or 13. And what color was the easiest for you to see? Well it's tied between three. Okay well what were they? Yellow, blue, red, and probably green. Okay now what was the hardest color for you to find? I haven't found any blacks. You didn't find any of the blacks. Okay. This is Classical Conversation, Cycle 1, Week 3, Science, number 58, Ground Temperature. You'll need your Van Cleave experiments. We have dug a hole that's four inches deep, and we're going to insert a thermometer into that and measure the temperature. And we are going to lay one thermometer on the ground beside it, and we're going to compare the temperatures of the one that is in the ground and covered with a towel versus the one that is just exposed to the elements. Okay, the purpose of number 58 in your Van Cleves, the ground temperature, is to determine why desert animals spend their day underground. And the reason why our book says that that happens is that the sun heats the ground temperature or heats the ground and causes it to be a hotter temperature than what it is if the animals dig a hole and bury themselves under the ground. So we are hoping that our um, experiment will show a cooler temperature on the thermometer that we have buried in the ground and we're hoping that it will show us a hotter temperature on the thermometer that we have laying on the, the surface on the ground. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna measure our temperatures now. We waited our five minutes. The temperature in the ground reads 90. The temperature on the surface reads 88. <laughs> Ours was not accurate, but that's science. 90 in the ground, 88 on the surface.